Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a custom ordered, fully loaded Class C Mercedes. Not only that, the number one selling Mercedes motorhome in the entire world. This is the 2021 Winnebago Navion slash View model 24D. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true advice review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited to be looking at the number one selling Class C Mercedes motorhome in the entire world, the Winnebago Navion slash View. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everyone. How's it going? It's going good. It's a little chilly here yeah, today, huh? We have a cold front here in Florida this weekend. It is a little chilly. Yeah, what's that mean? Like 75 degrees? No, it's like 65. Is it really? Yeah, and it's cold to me because I think I'm a Floridian Yeah, now. we're Floridians now. Uh, super excited to show everybody. Uh, so let's just begin. Model is 24D, but the actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 25 feet 6 inches. This is the Winnebago Navion slash view. And the reason why I'm calling that, uh, they're so popular that in very in very dealer congested areas, one dealership will be selling the view, the other one will be selling the Navion. They're the same product, y'all, same option, same assembly line. The only thing that changes is the name. Up front here. This is powered on the new Mercedes chassis. It does have the 3.0 liter V6 and 188 horsepower. Andre, this is just so nice when you see it. I love the headlight design. All these new Mercedes chassis now, it, it's the new ones with the adaptive cruise control, the lane assist, the collision mitigation and everything. Up front there, we do have a nice seamless fiberglass front cap. It's one piece fully molded over the roof. Now again, what's so great about this exact Mercedes is this one's already sold. And listen, folks, they're all sold. Right now, if you want one of these, they're on back order till January or February just because of how the RV industry is. But what's really great about this one is this guy ordered every single option. So I'm really excited to show you guys. Right here, look at these tires, Andrea. Oh, these are the Continental tires. LT215-85R16. You have your mirrors right here. And then look at this streamlined design right here. You know, very nice, very streamlined, very elegant. If we take a step back, full body paint is an option and it looks absolutely fantastic. This is called Bamus 2. And again, we'll, we'll have everything down in the description below, all the different options and specs and everything. And you can see how nice it looks. Look, look at this new door design. I like it. It looks Look, it's not really it's very thick. sleek. It's very sleek and awesome. And then right up there, we do have a power awning with LED lights. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. With the push of a button, Andrea, automatic awning coming out. Also, this customer ordered this with the equalizer auto leveling. A lot of times when you guys are seeing these on dealers' lots, they won't have that just because the wheelbase is so small. But look at that awning. Ain't that nice? That's nice. It's a nice awning with LED lights and a wind sensor. So if the wind blows too hard, that awning will automatically retract itself back in. Look how cool the door is. Yeah. Oh. Wow, oh, that's that. awesome. That's very cool. And they got a little bin there, so a little then, trash can. Yeah, or and then look at look at how thick this door is and everything. Wow. And it's really and you got the to open it like that, really aircraft style like. And then check this out. Oh. I love that. Me too. Very awesome. And let's. Perfect. That awning's gonna come in now. Right nice. here we have flip-up storage. Okay. The nice rubberized gasket. Pretty nice exterior storage here. Definitely. Oh, uh, right over here we have a propane quick connect. Okay. Truma hot instant hot tankless water heater. And there's your Cummins Onan 3200 diesel generator. 
the propane stand uh, generator stander the diesel generator is the upgrade so it's cool that there's a lot of upgrades I personally don't like upgrades because then it makes it confusing for salespeople <laughs> oh that's good a little bit of storage right there you can never have enough on you these. can never have enough wow and then right there a little bit more storage coming around the back oh nice 5,000 pound hitch Mercedes uh, regulates it to 4,300 pounds. Nice rear fiberglass look here. Uh, I like the headlight designs, everything about this. This motorhome's kind of futuristic-ish looking, right? Uh, you got a backup camera right there. Also, you have a ladder to get up on the one-piece fiberglass roof. Let's go up there and take a look. Matt, it's been a while since you climbed ladders. I can do did it. Did you stretch? I sure did. All right, hold on. Now. All right, up here on the roof, you can see that it's a very wet roof. We have not one, but two solar panels. I love that. There's your air conditioning unit right there. You have your Max Air fan covers and everything. One up top and down here. And then right there is your King Air digital antenna. Last step. Ugh, great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesman's goal? Take his fat ass up on the roof. Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. It's going to be exciting over here in a second, Andrea. Right oh. over here is your wet bay sanitation station. Your 30 amp power cord. This is the 30 amp motor home. Uh, right there is where you dump your black and gray tank. And then right here is your black tank flush system. Very okay. Nice. Right here's where you fill up your potable water. Potable. 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 And I like how there's a key there to lock it to make sure nobody poisons you. And then here's more storage. And then here is your propane tank. And Andrea, we will have all the tank sizes, lengths, widths, everything down in the description below. Also right here, bing, for everybody to watch on television. And I really thought we would have seen it on the outside. It's probably under the step. This customer also ordered it with the upgraded lithium ion batteries. Okay. I just don't know where they are. That maybe they're under there. Where's the fuel? Yep. Oh, it's probably right there. Fuel Phillips right here. And right oh, here. Cool. Diesel fuel. Yep. And the cargo carrying capacity. Cargo carrying capacity is 962. Okay. Well, wah, we expected wah. that. It listen. You guys want the luxury of the Mercedes. You want the sleek, sleek styling. That's all of them. Don't care who the manufacturer is because it has nothing to do with Winnebago. Anything on the Mercedes is going to have a low CCC. Yes. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great. Oh, snap. Alcoa rims. We didn't even talk about the rims. The outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. I'm excited to see this one. It's been a while since we've seen an Avion. Right, well, they, they've they been gone. Literally, y'all. Okay. General RV, we have probably sold There's 75 of these, and they're all on order. Okay, guys, this, uh, the slide's in, so I'm gonna walk to the bathroom. Somebody requested that you watch me walk through. Oh, go ahead. They wanna see how big the walkway is. Well, that's what's nice about this one. I mean, it. you know, I can get through. Yeah. You have to turn sideways. But yeah, I had plenty of room, guys. Yep. And let's watch the slide come out. Uh oh. Gotta turn the engine on, have the emergency brake up. <sighs> Great. While the slide out's coming out, I have a huge favor to ask everyone. If you could please leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about the Winnebago Navion slash view. Let us know three things you don't like about it. The more people to comment and smash that thumbs up button, the more people YouTube likes to promote our video to. And we thank and you. And we thank you guys. Also, we are doing a meet and greet in Virginia on Tuesday. Don't know the place or the time yet, but next video we'll, we'll be able Tuesday, to- Tuesday, October 6th, right? October 6th, yep. And so what's today? Today's Friday. the 30th. 30 Thursday. Today is Wednesday. Today's Thursday. Wednesday? Yes, the 30th. Okay, so Friday's video, we'll tell everybody the location. And we hope to meet you there. Yes. <laughs>
Wow, I like these cabinets. Whoa, I can't wait to show those. Yes, no, today's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, So Friday's Matt. video. Did you say that? Yes. I'm so sorry. Let's get started He's just so excited, he can't concentrate. <laughs> okay, so this is the new Mercedes engine. You got your push button start here, your reverse neutral down when I put the brakes on, and I go up, we're in reverse, I go down, we're now in drive, and then when I'm ready to park, look at this, I just push that button in, and now we are parked. Cool. You can see your engine oil level, everything's push of a button. If we say the name of this chassis, which we're not. She'll uh, start talking to exactly, us. Exactly, exactly. Andre, do you want to sit in my co-captain seat? Yes, I want to see how comfortable these are. They look comfortable. Oh yeah. Carbon fiber. Yeah, these are nice. Very nice. Very nice. And what's nice about this is it does have the memory here. Yes. So you can actually save your settings on yep. how you want to sit. And there's great. three settings. So when Andrea's there, she sets it for oh, number one. It's got an arm. Cause she's number one. Aww. When I'm in the passenger seat, I set it for number two. And then not there's a third setting. And what's great about number three, these seats are complicated to swivel around. Yes. You, they have to be up and over, right. blah, blah, blah. But they do swivel, which is they, great. Yep, they do swivel. But what you do is a little hack. You set memory three for the position where it's oh, easy to swivel okay and then it will swivel around that's awesome yep and, and guys there looks like there is a pedestal table that goes here yep so you have extra seating in the living area and you know just so everybody knows um this does have sirius xm radio navigation bluetooth every every luxury features in modern day cars this has we got a bunk over the cab we sure do let's see nice bunk over the cab Got a USB back there, electrical yep. outlet, got reading lights. What does this hold, Andrea? I don't know. I'd say probably 350. Three, yeah, 300 to 3. Yeah. We're going to say 250 to 300 pounds. Got a max air fan. Here's your cushions. Yep, max air fan for nice Privacy circulation. Curtain. And a ladder to get up on the bunk over the That's cab. Awesome. I really am liking this dinette a so lot. So this is my favorite dinette. Oh, and just so everybody knows, um. I, I said this guy ordered every option. Not really. He ordered every upgrade. There is an option to get theater seats here instead of this U-shaped dinette. I don't understand that option. No offense to anybody who likes that option. Because of the because sofa with sofa. the Murphy bed. And yes. let me tell you, this U-shaped dinette is what makes this motorhome. Absolutely. I absolutely love this. Look at this. Extensions. You might have to unlatch that. Dang, damn it. Oh, that's fabulous. Look. Literally, if you have this, extra seating. If this was our motorhome, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm doing it. If this was our motorhome, this is how I would be sitting right here looking at the television right over there. I absolutely love this feature on a dinette. I like the table, how it swivels. And I also like that the table is wood. Oh, and then look, there's these little things right under here. If you want to show underneath and angle it up yep cool i see electrical outlet under there yep oh look at the cabinets yes nice euro nice style euro look i like the white very nice and, and i love these big windows yeah what is that we got one shade or do we have, we have look, daytime wow. and privacy shades but look how big that windows yeah. open and yes just as andreas said daytime shades and privacy shades. I love that. Seat belts in the dinette. I really, really like this dinette. Yep, yep. Very nice. And then over here is your sofa. This does drop down to make a bed. We'll show you that in a few minutes. Oh, Matt, they must have a table that goes there as well. Well, yeah, it's the same table that goes there or also that table as well. So if you do need more eating area, you can have that. That's pretty and cool. And then your TV is right here kind of more centrally located for both, for both seating yep. that's awesome well andrea it's now time for the msrp burr, burr, burr. msrp on this motor home here is one hundred and eighty eight thousand six hundred and twenty four dollars msrp sale price i'm not going to tell you guys the sale price here's why because, let, 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 let me show it to you this way. 
and I'll take a picture of this, y'all, and put it on the screen. The regular price is one sixty four six eleven. This customer has twenty two thousand dollars worth of options. So that means the sale price on these is going to fluctuate from a twenty two thousand dollar price gap, depending on the options. So I don't want to tell people a sale price and then, you know, because again, this is the most expensive. So um, if we have links down in the description below to generalrv.com where you can see all our in stock Navions and views. And that's going to show you the sale price on our website and we can get you an even better price than what's on our website. The only thing you have to do is say, tell them you saw it on Matt's RV reviews. Burr, 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 burr. And we're working on something literally today after we're done videos. And so hopefully we'll have something by the time you're ready to buy. And yeah, we will have this hopefully right there. Andrea. So we'll get you guys the Matt price. Burr, 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 burr. Doesn't matter what ha options you have, we'll get you the best price in America. Andrea, let's continue the video. Yes, I really am liking this kitchen. Check out the two-tone colors. Look at that big window. I know. That's okay. So we can't really see because it's all oh, this plastic, yep, but plastic. plenty of storage in there. Uh-huh. You guys, look at this. And it locks into place. So yes. nothing's going to come flying out at you. And yes, this window is fantastic. It's huge. Wow. You don't even need a backsplash with a window that big. No, that's beautiful. It does have blinds, you guys. Mm -hmm. Now, I got to comment on this because normally I always see the round sinks in here. Yep. I love that they have the double sink. Look wow. at that. Double squares too. And, and you know, a lot better for full timing. Yep. And then here's your equalizer system, auto leveling. They did give you an extension. Check this out. The two tone colors. I love it. Mm -hmm. Nice wow. big storage for your trash can. That's crazy. Right here for your soaps, water purifier system. Guys, I'm loving this. Oh, look, Matt, there's a paper towel holder under here, if you can oh, see it. Oh, yeah, well, the TV does come time. up. Yep, if you I don't maneuver wanna, it. I don't want to break it. You're not going to break it. No, it doesn't. There's like a thing. I don't see it, and I'm, I don't want to break it. So I'm not missing. Um, I don't think it comes out. I think it does. Oh, no, I know it does. Oh, there you go. Okay. Very nice. <laughs> okay, so you do got some storage behind yeah, there. Yeah, nice storage, and as Andrea said, a paper towel holder. Look at all this counter space. Look at this. Wow. You guys, normally we don't get this in these. Yeah, especially in a small motorhome. This no. is fantastic. And look, we got a convention microwave mm -hmm. and another drawer down here. I really like the two-tone. Great look. We got another cabinet up here. Pretty. Got wow. your uh, inverter right there. Yep, inverter. And what's that? The auto generator. Gen start. Yeah, for the generator. More cabinetry, mm -hmm. more storage. I like how they have this guard here. Ooh, this look at that. Up top. Oh, yeah. Don't wait, stop. That's so pretty. Yes. I really like lights above. Wow. Uh, it makes it, you know, feel so modern in here and clean. Yep. Okay, so we got one burner induction and one propane so that's good mm -hmm. you got drawers here nice big drawers and you know what oh my god soft clothes soft clothes great cabinetry wow. lights underneath yep beautiful and we got the two-way refrigerator yep wow and you got this nice big refrigerator which i'm glad to see in this andrea this might be a compressor fridge really uh, I'm not sure. It doesn't look like it's a propane fridge. Okay. It's That's the Norco. It's the Norco fridge. Y'all, somebody leave down in the comments below. Yeah, Let us know. It... I think it runs off the batteries, actually. Okay. Still, regardless, very nice. Solar charger controller here. Wow. Yep, the Zamp. Oh, All right, man. so we got... Uh, oh, look at this. Wow, that's new. This is kind of your cross between your your storage for your clothes in your pantry and you can use it for a pantry too but i love these look and then under here we got another one wow another shelf fuse box yep very nice wow that's awesome very very pretty andrea i mean <laughs> i'm getting pretty impressed i by am this. too matt okay. so now to murphy the uh you see electrical room. outlets there the usb yep uh, i think you you don't have to put that down yet, yeah, that's right. So we go like this. Were we supposed to remove these? Yes. yes. And you know what? I really like those lights. 
And look, they changed the cushions. see them above the slides. They yeah, changed. they did. So here's what they added. This part to the cushion so that it, it sits in there and it's not going to... Because the A lot of times was, it'll be uncomfortable well, they, and it they won't were sit sliding right. out. Very nice. Okay. Very nice. Wow. Tell me what you think of that. I think it's wonderful. I think you have an awesome headboard right there. I love this little, this is what a is small this? bed. So that's is that like, like a pillow. Yeah, it's like a padding. So look at this bed. This is a small bed, but with that padding, it makes it normal size. You got cabinets above. Very nice. Very nice. You have these lights right here. They turn white and then they also turn blue. Yep. And, and then, you got a window with MCD shades right there. Very nice. I really like this a lot. Yep. And I love how it's light in here, like even the slide color. So let's watch you put this back up. Okay. Very nice. And then, oh, also what they did, they made these strap things. So you can actually strap it down into it because they were having problems with them sliding off. But I don't even think you need this. I mean, it fits this like a glove. And yeah, that's not going anywhere. Really exciting. All right, now let's check out this bathroom. I like that bathroom. Hey, Matt, look, look, pull the pocket door. Oh. Wow. Lights underneath there as well. Yep. Okay. So we got cabinet. Wow, big here. storage. Yep. Big, big storage in the back. Very nice. <laughs> nice little sink. We got a medicine cabinet. Mm hmm. Got a fan up there. Look at that little cute sink. Little sink, little storage underneath. Just right. Look at the toilet paper holder. Yep, in a very good spot. And I'm feeling this with the back of my leg, and I might be... Jump in that shower, let's see. I like that they have the Nautilus door on here. Very, again, small shower. Good size shower for this small of a motorhome. Nautilus door, I like that. Yep. And I like that there's a window in here. Yep, very nice. What's that switch for? That was for the bed. Oh, okay. We'll get to that switch a little later. <laughs> well, Andrea, it's now time for the toilet test. Plastic, wah, wah, wah. It's okay, they've always used plastic in this. Again, I can't hate it because the cargo carry capacity is so low, so they're trying to cut weight, whatever. It is nice, it's a good position. I like the toilet placement holder, but we just can't give it a four piece, that's all. Well, Andrea. Can I sit there for a second? Yeah. I, I wanna see this. Plenty of room, you guys. I mean, for this being a small bathroom, I don't feel spaces. claustrophobic at all in here. Yep, yep, very nice. It's, I always like how they're designed when they're in the back. Yep, and as great as it is, and as nice as it is, Andrea, it's now time we give everybody three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? Let's do three things we dislike about it. Okay, I have two. Do you have one? Hmm. And all mine are, well, two of mine are outside. I can't I really, have all three if you need it. Yeah, I can't really find okay. anything that I dislike about it. First dislike that I have, said it last time and I'll say it this time, I think it's silly that the bed operating system is right in the bathroom. Yeah. They could, they literally could have put, put it, it right here. here. They could have put it here. here. Yeah, and it would have been fine. I think it's silly. Is that a reason not to buy this motorhome? Absolutely not. I just think it's silly. So that's one. Also forgot to mention, um, the padding on the roof is nice, but this is a place for you to put curtains. Oh, um, like privacy curtains. Yep. So pretty interesting. So that's one, two. Okay. The way these doors open and somebody actually commented on uh, two days ago video, which is a competitor to the Winnebago. We'll link that down in the description below. 
we like the doors on the competitor, yes. but we don't like them here. And somebody's like, you said you don't like to flip up doors. Here's what I mean. Right now, this is, well, one, last year it was like this, right? This year it is a little bit better like that. But what the competition did, the door flipped up almost more vertical, so it wasn't in my way, where this one, it is a little yes. bit better from last year. Last year it was like this, um, and just don't like to flip up doors unless it goes all the way up and it's out of my way. So that's two, and then number three is over here. With how small, it's going to be a pain in the butt on this side to shove that power cord in there every Should time. Have a reel. Well, I don't know if there's enough space to have a reel, but that opening needs to be a lot bigger because to make that right. fit perfectly every time, I think it's gonna be a pain in the butt. I agree. Great. So that's three things we don't like about this motorhome now. It's time for three things we love about this motorhome. You ready? Let's begin. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna start, I'm gonna say this. This is silly. I love this door. Look at this aircraft style door. It is nice, it is thick, it is insulated. I feel like when I'm entering this motorhome, I feel like I'm entering an airplane and how nice it fits. You know, does that make sense? Yeah, and it looks nice. And it looks good, and it's weird to have a door as the number one, but I just think it's an awesome feature about it. So that's one, two. I love the two-tone cabinets in here. Yeah. I just The think, Euro look. Yes, it just looks great, and it looks clean and simple, and I like that. I like how it has, you know, the two tones, and I love the counter space. I Not mean, only that, they've complimented the white Yes. With the dark. They did a good and it job. it looks really, Winnebago really great. Winnebago is always innovative. So I'm just, you know. Well, not it's a, always innovative. Time, it's, a, it's a breath of fresh air to see this, Matt. Yes. I wish we would see it more. And can I also say that the double sink. Yeah. I mean, I and did just, not expect that in here at all. Well, I no. expected to see the round sink. Yeah, not, not just that. I mean, how much countertop space yep. there is. It's, it's great floor plan. Yep. And then three, my third. I know it's silly and corny. This U-shaped dinette is phenomenal. I love how big it is. I love how spacious it is. You can actually sit people around this and it's comfortable, y'all. Again, even though this has a sofa, that would not be my seat. My seat would be right here in the corner. I have my laptop right here looking at TV right there. Hanging out, checking out the country, enjoying it. Yes. You know? Well, Andrea, let's step outside. That's it, everybody. That's the review. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this motorhome, feel free to call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell. Or you can send uh, check us out online at mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there is a contact me page on the website. But again, these things, if you want pricing, I, uh, we're brand ambassadors for General RV, so we don't sell them anymore. So just go down to generalrv.com, click get lowest price. The only thing you have to do is tell them. You saw it on Matt's RV Reviews. And whatever the advertised price is, we're gonna give you a coupon or something. Uh, by the time you watch this video, we'll have it figured out uh, to get you a little bit better price than the advertised price. Andrea, do you have anything you wanna say? Yeah. Everybody, thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Winnebago does read the comments, so everybody leave your feedback. Um, also, you guys, uh, about the meet and greets that we are going to be having on Tuesday, October 6th yep. in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, we will have more information on that, or you can check out the details on our Facebook Club Art Deco. Yep. I hope you guys are safe and you guys are well. Awesome. And one last thing, sorry, y'all. Uh, today is the last day to get your keychains. Links down in the description below. It's on Teesprings. Uh, get your official Matt's RV Reeves keychain. Thank you so much, everybody who got one. And for the support, the only way you're going to get a keychain after today is by what, Andrea? If you buy an RV. If you buy a $100,000 <laughs> motorhome. So uh, get your keychain now if you don't plan on buying an RV in the future. 
Thank you so much for watching. Andrea, we'll, we'll see you next time. time.